So I'm out here with my family. My brother-in-law informed us that there is a rainbow halo around the moon and it's shaped like a heart right now. And I had a lucid dream the other day before my niece woke me up. <laughs> and there was two suns in the sunset. And I was, I immediately knew since there was two suns in the sunset that I was dreaming. And so when I finally, when I knew that, immediately I knew, well, I could fly. So I started to try to push my feet against an invisible wall and push myself up into the air. And then my angel appeared right next to it on the left. And it was like, wasn't just one angel. It was like, it was like thousands upon thousands of lights in one area. And so I had a lucid dream the other day. It was amazing. And I was able to, uh, I was able to try to start flying, jumping up on the cloud. And, uh, yeah, it was so beautiful. Oh yeah, and then there's a Pink Floyd song called Two Suns in the Sunset. And it's very prophetic. So, it's cold. <laughs> and my family's here with Brendan. Hi and Hi. Scott <coughs> and Clover. Hello. A halo, hello. 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 Not hello. Stuff, hello. Heaven high, not hello. 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 Heaven high, not hello. I it. I thought you'd enjoy it. Oh, so beautiful. Look how beautiful. You guys, there's faces in the clouds right now. This is so breathtakingly gorgeous. Oh, yeah. There's shapes and faces in the clouds. I already saw like four faces. Oh yeah, so there's a dome above us. Where, Scott? Oh, you mean outside the, yeah. Oh, you guys don't even know. Imagine what colors uh, animals see. Like you think, like imagine the bats and the owls, what they see. They're seeing like totally different. What if a bee came out here and saw this? What, what how would it see? What, what would it sense? Sense things that we don't. It's in a dimension that can't That's be correct, in the Clover. Yeah, that's it's in another that. dimension. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Oh my goodness. There is a face on the other side of that too. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to. Wow. Your camera is capturing it really well. I guess. I don't think it is. There, that's better. This is so bright. It can't. It's like can't focus. He keeps. Uh, light. Yeah, Bren? Light. Light? Mm -hmm. No, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Uh, the moon is feminine and it is a light in the sky. That's correct, Brendan. You're exactly right. And the moon is self luminous and it is close. We're not sure how close, but how can you measure that sort of closeness? Um, and the moon is cool. It's got a club. And it it into a is cool, and, and it is supposedly. I've seen it measurable, it's, it's but it wasn't right me that's right taken the measurement. Really right. Measurable right. on an instant read laser thermometer wow. that is some degrees cooler in the moonlight than it is in the moon shade. Therefore, the moon is cold in the sun. I mean, yes, the moon is cold and the sun is hot. So beautiful. Ready to go? It's freezing out here. All right. So we're just hanging out with my nephew, Brendan. It's Aaliyah's birthday tomorrow, so we're all excited about that. And uh, things are gonna be fun and cool. And my goodness, doesn't it ever shine? Yes, Brendan, you're truly right. It is, it's a light in the sky. And her name is the moon. The moon, okay? Mm -hmm. And she's a girl. That's what you decided, no. And Keep looking up and listen to your dreams and, and try to pay attention while you're sleeping. Things are lucidly awakening in this great awakening. Thank you.